Welcome to video number nine, fashionhustle.com, the paintbrush tool. Okay, so let's open up Adobe Illustrator CS5. Okay, now if you notice here, the paintbrush tool on the toolbar can be selected by pressing B on your keyboard. Okay. So the paintbrush tool is similar to the pen tool except for the fact that it, if we click and drag the mouse, the paintbrush tool will allow us to draw freehand anything we want. And if you notice here, let's get the selection tool, the direct selection tool, and we'll drag a box over it to highlight it. This freehanded drawing is created of um, anchor points similar to how the pen tool does it, but what it does is creates the line with the anchor points based on where we click and draw our, our writing. So for example, if I wanted to make a happy face. I can click and draw a happy face freehanded really quick. Then I'll go to my direct selection tool. And if I want to click and edit it, I can click and drag an anchor point, adjust the anchors according to how I want. So this is in summation the paintbrush tool, but there are other options here too. So let's take a look at these other options. Okay. If we double click the paintbrush tool in the tool in the toolbar, <clears throat> we have the paintbrush tool options. <clears throat> now this gives us a window that tells us we can adjust the fidelity and the smoothness of the brush. We can keep new brushes selected so that way you'll see the anchor points open and you'll know where the points are to click and select them. And we can choose the option of fill new brush strokes, but for right now we won't. Okay. Now the fidelity and the smoothness. Let's go all the way to the right and then I'll show you what happens when we go all the way to the left. So you can see how the paintbrush um, interacts now with the tolerances and the smoothness and fidelity changed. Okay, so if I draw See, it didn't take shape to what I was really drawing, right? I'm making a bunch of squiggly lines. See, it didn't really do it on the last one. Now let's double click back to the paintbrush tool. Now I'm going to make the fidelity all the way to the left and the smoothness all the way to the left. Okay, let's clear out this board. I'll go Command A to select all and then push delete on the keyboard. So now when I use the paintbrush tool and I make all these little squiggly lines, it does it exactly how I want to, right? Because let's go back here to the option. Because I made the fidelity all the way to zero and the smoothness all the way to zero. Okay. Now Let's take a look at it when it's all the way to the right, which puts the fidelity at 20, the smoothness at 100. I'm going to try to recreate this, this line and see what happens. Okay, let's do a lot of squiggly lines. And it comes out very tight, not so smooth. And the points are very sharp. Okay. Oops. Let's double click again. Smoothness to zero, fidelity to zero, click OK. Let's try to mimic the same line. This one is a lot sharper and jagged, and this one is a little softer and smoother. Okay, now let's try something else with the paintbrush tool. Okay, I made a line. Now over here in our panel, there's an option for brushes. We will click. Okay. 
and let's stretch this down. Now we have other options for brushes here. So if you notice here, this is a base brush is selected. We can do a different type of brush here. There's different options. So let's let's add some more brushes. If you notice the two arrows right here on the side. Whoops. Sorry about that. This arrow right here with the lines. This is a drop down option. So let's let's go to open brush library. So we have we can select arrows, we can select calligraphic, chalk, charcoal pencil, ink, paintbrush, scroll pen, watercolor. Then we have brushes, I mean borders, we have bristle brush, decorative brushes, vector packs, and Wacom 6D brushes. Let's start with artistic. We'll go to one that's callig calligraphic. Now you'll notice that pops open. Now look what happens, we have other options for brushes. These brushes have different angles and thicknesses. So as you're creating your artwork, you have other options for brushes. I like this brush, so let me clear that out and show you how I can write a graffiti tag with this brush. Well, to move your artboard, you hold down the space bar, it'll give you a hand, then you click and move the mouse and the artboard will move over, okay? Alright, so I like, I like the use of this brush. Okay, let's try a different brush. Let's click B for brush. I don't like that. I'll click Command Z. I don't like that. I'll click Command Z to get rid of it. Yeah, so I like these brushes. They give you a nice effect. Let's clear that out. We'll drag a box over it. Push Delete on the keyboard. Let's check out one or two other brushes. So let's go back here to our brush panel. Scroll down to open brush library. Artistic. Let's try uh, paintbrush. All right, so we get our brush tool by pushing B on the keyboard. Let's click one of these brushes. Now let's see what effect we get at this. Kind of like a paintbrush, right? So we have can click on the bottom right corner and stretch that out so you can see more options in there. And let's select to see what they look like. So when you're creating artwork, you can actually draw images that look like they have a paintbrush. This is cool. Let's try this one. Looks like I'm painting it with a paintbrush, right? So feel free to go in there and look at some of the other brushes. Okay, you can make some really nice graphics with these. And if you click and drag over them, remember they're anchor points. You can select them and, and manipulate them to adjust how you want. Okay. And in the pen tool, um, in the pen tool option, click and hold it down. You can get the delete anchor point option if you want to get rid of some of these. Okay, in the next video for the pencil, pencil tool, there's an option in here called the smooth tool that I'm going to show you about. And really quick, I'll just cover it. 
and it'll smooth out these points so they're not so sharp. Excuse me, so they're not not as many points. You notice as I move this over, the points get less. Okay. Let's see if I can do this one. Look at the points here, and then I drag the smooth tool over it. There's less points. Okay. It just kind of smooths it out. It simplifies it. It's, it's more like it, is what I should say. Okay. Alright, and last but not least, uh, I'll show you some more. We can click and drag the selection tool over this, and we can check out some more options. Okay, remember the artistic one. Alright, let's go get one more brush. Let's go to artistic. Should we do. Char charcoal pencil. Alright, let's check out this one. So you have other options here. These all create different kind of looks. They simulate chalk, charcoal, pencils, paintbrush. Okay. You can click on any of these. Let's get you know what? Let's go for one more, okay? Open brush library. What should we do? Should we do ink? Let's try ink. Now this will make paint splatter like you would splatter from a paintbrush. Notice as I'm clicking these, you're getting all these different options. Oh, that was pretty crazy. So you're going to have a lot of fun exploring Illustrator. Okay. And lines, geometric frames, decorative vector packs, grunge brush vector pack. Similar to the previous brushes. I mean, there's options. There's so many options that you could be here for for days on end, and just all the possible <clears throat> variety of options. I'll give you one example of the frames. Frames. It's just like the word says. It'll create a frame. your selection so to create a frame in the in the style of the frame that you select for your for your selected artwork all right so there's more of a, I'll be here all day showing you each different one so I, I want you to explore them on your own okay um, feel free to um, that's pretty fresh right there. Feel free to to explore. The possibilities are endless, okay? That's hot right there too. Alright. So keep exploring. I'll help you as much as I can. Watch these videos over and over again to get, you know, um, a basic understanding of what you need to do to manipulate Adobe Illustrator to bring about the art that you want to create. Okay, peace.